Hey Jay, if you're watching, make sure you say hey, hey, so I know. Make sure you comment a hashtag replay if you're watching this after the fact. If you're on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button. Or as they say on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. It's not weird at all. I got some gunks left in my thing. What is that? Don't know. Good morning. Hey, Caitlin. How you doing, girl? How you doing? I should wear an apron. That would be a wise decision. Good morning, Sarah McNutt. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let me get covered up here so I don't get grease on my boobs. Because I get grease on my boobs. Nice. Caitlin. I got a little extra sleep this morning too. Hey Susan. Hey Sherry Parsons. Welcome back. Um, I'm all about protein balls these days. I've been liking having some protein balls in my fridge. Little, little snacky balls. And I've been obsessed lately with all things French toast flavor. Oh, I wasn't sleeping, Cindy. I say I slept in, but what I did was zone out in. I got up at 5.30, at 5, 5.30. And then I turned on the TV and kind of stared at it blankly and scrolled through Instagram for a while. I'm like, I need to get up and get moving. I was just kind of like, mm. I don't know. It's been a busy week, a busy week this week. I had... Um, varicose vein surgery Monday. On Tuesday, I had a go live at work, plus I had a webinar on Tuesday night. Wednesday, there was something else, I don't remember what it was. Thursday, I had another webinar. Friday, I had the um, fermentation class. It's just been busy. And holy healthy holidays, I've got a lot of work going into that, preparing for that, because it's going to be so awesome. Um, I've been building coaching on another, yes, Monday night Zoom. I've been building coaching on another platform as well, a second option for coaching. I've been, I've just had a lot. And then this coming week, I have a major go live starting 5 a.m. on Monday. Um, and then I have uh, Zoom Monday night. And oh, uh, it's the summit this week. It's the summit. The Best You Summit, we're doing Fall Into Success. It's gonna be so good. I'm talking about breaking through emotional eating. So I'm really excited about that. Breaking through, breakthrough on emotional eating. Um, that is, I don't know, that's all week this week. I have a ton of work to do for that. That's coming this week. So it's gonna be another busy week. Oh, and then I have varicose vein surgery on Friday on the other leg. <laughs> oh my gosh, fall is always such a crazy busy time, but you know what, I love it. I'm grateful that I can be busy. It was, and this one is gonna be no different, Cindy Wetzel. All right, I'm gonna make, like I said, I've been a little, obsessed the past couple of weeks with french toast flavor and i haven't had french i think it's because i'm craving french toast i haven't had time to make no carb easy bread um so i haven't been able to have french toast because i'm gluten free now so oy. so i'm gonna make some protein balls that my goal is to make them taste like french toast will they taste like french toast i have no idea but that's gonna be my goal so protein balls, you can put quinoa or oats if you're making a big batch, like I'm going to make, I'm going to use sprouted oats, which means the carb count is even lower in these. So if I was to eat this whole batch, which that would be a lot of protein baldness, okay? It would be a total crossover, carbs, and fats, but 
this is going to make a decent sized batch and i'm only gonna have one cup of oats in the whole thing and a serving is two to three balls so i can add oats i leave it at a cup i buy sprouted oats susan these ones are gluten-free and i figure anytime i can get something sprouted it's even better for me there's nothing wrong with regular whole oats but sprouted I have the opportunity to buy sprouted. I'm going to go with sprouted. So I'm going to do a half a cup of the old peanut butter. I am going to measure this because in case it's really good, I'd like to have <laughs> recipes, a recipe. So if it's terrible, I want to know exactly what I put into it. If it's terrible, I won't make a recipe. That's not going to be terrible. Mary, I have those dreams. They're nightmares. I have dreams that I ate something off plan. Like, I will wake up just sweating. Because in my dream, I was eating chicken nuggets from McDonald's. <laughs> Ooh, chicken nuggets. I haven't had nuggets in a while. Maybe I'll make chicken nuggets tonight. Nugs. Easy nugs. KJ's easy nugs. I haven't had those in a while. All right, peanut butter natural peanut butter people read your labels okay at sam's club this weekend this last weekend might be terrible cindy at sam's club this weekend they had skippy or jiff i don't know natural peanut butter big sign natural healthy guess what the first ingredient was sugar it's not natural just because it's cane sugar, or it's not natural peanut butter. It may be natural, don't mean it's healthy. Natural, y'all, does not equate to healthy. Read your labels. Peanut butter is tricky. Tricky, tricky. All right, I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of an on, well, maybe a little bit more, quarter cup of on plan maple syrup i use this one i love it i get it from thrive market um which there's a link in my uh on my page uh this is called rx sugar and this is the best on plan syrup i have ever had it tastes just like the real deal to me maybe that's because i'm so far removed from the real deal i don't know but this is made with allulose and it's totally clean it's not even a personal choice it's totally on plan uh, maple extract. Should have gotten that out instead of standing here hunting. Wait, THM has peanut butter extract? I don't think I've ever used that. Maple. Let's do half a teaspoon to start. I may add more of maple extract. Um, I'm going to put creamy dreamy because creamy dreamy is my jam. It is so good in protein balls, y'all. Protein balls, y'all. Quarter cup of the old hemp protein. It, it really works well in protein balls. Works good. All right, I'm gonna put some flax. I'm gonna do a quarter cup. Wait, it's been in my fridge for a significant period of time. Nope, they're good. No stank. As long as there's no stank. If your flax stinks, you might want to get new flax. Make sure you keep it in the fridge. All right, let's do some chia. Ch -ch -ch chia. Um, y'all, the last time I used chia, I told everybody how I had always wanted a chia pet growing up and my mother never bought me one. I asked for one every year for Christmas of my life and she never bought me a chia pet. She bought me everything else on the planet but never bought me a chia pet. I got two chia pets in the mail and I need to do them. I have got them sitting waiting to do and I have been so anxious to maybe I'll do those today with Marin. That would be fun. I should do it live. Would you all like to see a Chia Pet live or would you be like, no, that's boring. KJ, don't do that. All right. I am doing a couple tablespoons of chia. -ch 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 -chia. You would like to see that live, Susan. I have a Richard Simmons one and a Bob Ross one. I need to do them. I've been so busy. I want to do them so bad. All right. I will try to do them live. Maybe, maybe Marin and I will do that later today. All right. Chia. Uh, what else did I want to put in it? Vanilla. I don't want to put vanilla. I wrote down vanilla. I don't need vanilla. I need maple. 
Um, I'm going to put a little baking blend because you need more dry ingredients with protein balls to make them not too wet. So I'm going to do a quarter cup of THM baking blend. If you don't have baking blend, you could try like almond flour. You could put coconut flour. That would be dry. Um, butter. I am going to put butter powder because I don't want these to be too terribly wet. I may turn around and add actual butter. But you gotta have butter. Hey Arlene, you gotta have butter with French toast. French toast has butter. I'm gonna use butter powder. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of powdered butter. Um, I'm, again, like I said, may add actual butter. I don't know. Okay, I think I have all the, oh, no, I don't have all the flavors of French toast. I need the old cinnamon. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Hey, let's hope they taste French toasty. Did I? Oh, I thought I took my blade out. I almost panicked for a minute. Okay. forgot needs nuts I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of the old pecans gotta smell them first make sure they're okay they're okay you smell everything you cook with like I do I do because I have too much crap in my house and it goes bad before I get to eat it sometimes because I tend to overbuy. I know that's a shocker all right this is gonna need more liquid but that's okay I'm gonna use almond milk um, I'm going to get the nuts in there, ground up, and then taste it, and then tweak it from there. Okay, let's taste it. Oh! Pardon me. Mmm. That's good. Did anybody write down how many tablespoons of... I used a quarter cup of syrup. I'm going to use... I don't think I used a quarter cup. I used about three tablespoons. I'm going to add another couple tablespoons. And a little more extract. I did half a teaspoon. I'm going to make it up to... A, I'm going to make it a teaspoon. I want it more maple. Mm. Oh my gosh. I could overeat that in a hurry. That would be good just as is crumbled on top of yogurt. Okay, let's see where we're at taste-wise and then I may have to add a tiny bit of liquid. Y'all, that's good. Oh my gosh. I might not need liquid. Let me ball these babies up. I don't need no liquid. No, they're perfect. Mmm. They're good. Stop it. Those are good. Oh crap. That's probably not good. I'm going to eat a lot of those. Those are so good, you huh? Yum! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't stop. Those are delicious! Susan, I don't think I would dry it out. I think I would put less maple syrup. I would leave out that second amount of maple syrup I put in there so it's a little bit drier or just add a little more baking blend. That's so <laughs> I'm going to sit here and eat that whole container. Those are inappropriately delicious. Man, I love bowls. 
All right, where's my container? Oh, it's in the fridge. What am I gonna put them in? There's something in here I can use. No, woo! That's a little hot in there. Mmm. Talk up right now. I need a refill on my coffee to go with those. Those are ridiculous. I fill up my cup. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's make balls. I wonder if I like rolled them in butter powder, what they would taste like. You know, like you put butter on top of your French toast. You can roll your balls in butter powder. One of these days I'm gonna get banned from Facebook. Husbands, Mary, they're so annoying. I made balls and they're good. Um, Melissa, I want to say it was $7.99. Susan, stop it right now. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. I usually don't mock other people's growing up food choices, but that sounds horrible. <laughs> Ketchup on French toast sounds absolutely horrendous. I'm sorry. I hope that doesn't offend you. I hope you gave up that bad habit. Really? Is it not something in... I always forget. Are you from Scotland or Ireland? I forget every time. I forget because they're all the same place to me. <laughs> Any place outside of Maine is just the same place because I don't know my geography at all. My daughter is doing geography right now. Scotland. Okay, she's doing my geography right now. She's doing her... She is doing geography right now. And every time she's like, Mom, can you help me? I'm like, unlikely. There totally is, Sherry. There's a ton of pumpkin spice protein balls out there. A ton. You want some balls? Would you like to try the protein balls, Bassie? I'll give you a bite of protein ball. Everybody wants to see you though. Let me wash my hands. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Here, Bassie, you say hi to the people with a little protein ball. He's all dancing. He knows English. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Can you sit? Sit. Sit down. You sit down. Can you dance? Dance. Dance. Can you dance? Come on. Bassie. Do you want this? Dance. 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 Well, be easy. I need those fingers for work. All right. That's enough dog. I got to take this out of here before I slice off a finger. That would not be something I have time for today is a sliced off fingertip. Man. I think coffee, making fun coffees was my jam. I think my new jam is making balls because they are good. Making protein balls. What do you think? Should I roll them in something? Should I roll them in a little butter powder? A little, what if I made... Do I have any maple? What if I, cause I can't put maple extract in my, oh really Cindy? Well that's stinky, that's where I got it. Hemp hearts would be good. I don't think I have any, Mary. I can look, maybe I have hemp hearts, maybe. Yes, a maple glaze would be good, but it'd be sticky, Sarah. 
I'm wondering like, that would be good. Cinnamon sugar. <gasps> That's a good idea. I could do a little butter, cinnamon, and sugar. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'm just, I'm afraid like maple syrup, it would be too sticky. You don't want your balls to be sticky. You want your balls to be something you can eat in the car and not make a mess. See, this, they look like little meatballs right now, which is why it would be really nice to have a coating on them that made them not look like meatballs. My Happy Hippie Hemp Ball recipe, those things are so good. They look just like meatballs in the picture. <laughs> Every time I see the picture, I'm like, people are gonna think those are turkey meatballs. Hey, Bonnie. No, it says organic maple, yeah, organic maple flavored syrup, Cindy. That's what it says. Apparently you can get it on Amazon. I guess I need to add it to my Amazon store if they sell it there. How much was it there, Sherry? Hey, Betty. Hey, Bonnie. Did I already say hey Bonnie once? I may have already said hey Bonnie once. Bassy, I ain't talking to you. You already got as much he he uh, French toast balls as you're gonna get. The rest are from my bitter. If y'all did not have a chance to, holy Hannah, $12.99. That's a lot for syrup, but if you're the only one in the house eating it, it lasts quite a while. I'll say that. I've had it quite a while. And I use it a fair amount, but it's good, though. It's way better than making your own. I, I bet, I mean, it. I should try just making my own with allulose. Bassie, I'd let you lick that out if I didn't think you'd get your face stuck. But I think you would. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, if you didn't get a chance to see my free webinar this week, please go check it out. It has been posted in a few different places. If you send me a message, I'll send you a direct link. It was so good and I got lots of good feedback from women saying, oh my gosh, that's my story. That is my story. And I think what those messages meant the world to me when people said, Oh my gosh, it's like you were reading my story. And the reason that meant so much is because I think we often feel like the way we are addicted to food, the way we maybe sneak food, the way we fall off our diet, we see other people sticking to a diet and we're like, man, I wish I could stick to a diet like that. We all think that our story is unique. And while our individual stories are unique, our stories of food addiction and falling off diets and stuff, you know what? Most of us are all the same when it comes to that. And I think knowing that other people are in the same place is it's encouraging in a way. So if you haven't had a chance to go watch that, go watch that. Also, if you if you watch the webinar, you'll see at the end there's a special code to save some money on Holy Healthy Holidays. If you are not registered for Holy Healthy Holidays, don't miss out. It is going to be an amazing three months together. I cannot wait. There's going to be some big wins. In my group, okay, it was a smaller group than we're going to have for Holy Healthy Holidays. In August, it was a smaller group than what Holy Healthy Holidays is going to be. And in August, my group lost 170 plus pounds and that's just the people that reported in 170 pounds okay this is a little cinnamon a little butter powder and a little gentle sweet let's roll one in there and see what it tastes like now they look like little donut balls okay let's see if it's better with it or without it it's pretty darn good with it Yeah, pretty darn good. 
Mm. I love you, peanut butter. Correct. Oh my gosh, those are stupid good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're mighty fine. But I see no balls for you. Go away. These are my balls. Okay. Here we go, French toast peanut butter balls. Or, nope, not peanut butter balls. French toast protein balls. There you go, something fun to go make. Man, you need to use very little gentle sweet cinnamon and butter powder because I just coated all those in like probably a total of a tablespoon. Have a bunch left over. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape the rest out of here and eat it with my face. Thanks for joining me this morning, you guys. Mm. Now I can't talk. My milk is okay. I hope you enjoyed this chaos in my kitchen. Um. Okay. Fully healthy holidays. Free webinar. Also, there is an opportunity to bless a mama on my Facebook page on Joyful Life with KJ. Right on this page that you're watching on right now. If you're on Facebook. Some of you have already donated, and I'm extremely grateful. I am offering for sale scholarships. I have had a lot of mamas, a lot, reach out saying, I wish so badly that I could afford to be part of Holy Healthy Holidays. I need it. I have already gifted multiple seats. And I'm at my max that way. So if you would like to donate towards another mama being part of Holy Healthy Holidays, on my Facebook page, there is a donation post for scholarships. You can donate one scholarship, two, three, four, ten, or you can donate towards a scholarship. You can donate any amount, no matter how big or small. All that I get together and I am lowering the cost of Holy Healthy Holidays for the scholarships down to $225. For $225, you can bless a mama with three months of group coaching, six web, a web uh, Zoom cooking classes, and incredible support and encouragement for her journey. And there are a few mamas out there that are going through different health issues and with medical bills and everything else just cannot afford to be part of it so if that is something you would like to do to bless not another mama with that reach out to me or check that post for the link to donate and i um everyone that is donated i will um find a mom i already know i have a whole list i will i've already had multiple um people reach out to me so i will bless mamas in need with seats in holy healthy holidays Okay, you guys, I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Stay on plan for goodness sakes. It's Saturday. It's like farmer's market everywhere in America. Go buy some veggies and stay on plan. All right, I love you all. Have a blessed day. And I will see you back next time. Um, if we've registered for the summit, will we receive an email link when it's time to start? Michelle, are you already part? Did you already click the link to add your to get added to the group? That's all being confirmed today that everybody that has purchased a seat in the summit has been added to the group that's being worked through, finalized today. Starting tomorrow, posts will start posting at the same time. So it's like 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 7 p.m. So keep your eye, eye on the group. Make sure you turn your notifications on, on the group, um, and things will start posting. And it's going to be awesome. There's going to be a live Q&A every single night this week for the summit with amazing people. Rashida, cookbook author of Trim Healthy Future. Sarah Truitt is gonna be teaching about keeping your kids on plan. Linda Johnson is going to be teaching about 
I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Chris Honeycutt is there. Uh, Molly Miller is there. I am there. And it's going to be an awesome week. Okay, guys. I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.